I guess I wasn't doing a good enough job because he decided to poop on me. Oh, collect the poo, off! <laughs> Today, I'm gonna be taking a 14 hour ride on the Thai National Railway, which takes you through the most remote parts of Thailand. I'm gonna be leaving from Bangkok and then stopping at Chiang Mai. The train has three different classes. Third class is like a plane, not too much room, especially for a 14 hour ride. Second class is more like a bus, but a bit more spacious. And in first class, you get a small room with bunk beds and also access to a shower. This is the one that I picked and it's 45 bucks. Let's head into the train. All right, so I've made it on the train. It's very tight, as you would imagine, but big enough to get your suitcase through, which is nice. And here is my room. I'm in 21. So it comes with two seats that also fold into a bed somehow. And then this up here also folds down, so it acts as a bunk bed. It comes with two pillows for the bed. There is one outlet that I can see. There is also a small sink and a mirror. Above the door, there are pillows and cushions for making your bed. The room comes with two TVs and some ladder steps built into the wall to help you get up onto the bunk bed. I thought that this was a bathroom, but I tried opening it and it led to the next person's room, so my bad. It's okay because five minutes later they tried getting into my room. It's very tight in here, so it's hard to get far enough away that you guys can actually see everything. This angle, you can actually tell how small of a space this is. Now that I've gotten all situated, it's time to take a quick shower. They are located right down the hall from my room. It even has a hot water heater, which is really nice. I was not expecting that. Once again, the bathroom is only so big. I'm squatting right now in order to film this. With there being very minimal room to put any of my belongings, I had to get kind of creative. I just used the bag that my towel came in to keep my shoes and socks dry and put them in the corner out of the way, hoping that they wouldn't get wet. And then I just hung up the rest of my clothes. I just realized I don't even know how to turn this shower on. Oh, it's down here. That makes more sense. Wait, what? I'm so confused. I'm stupid, it literally says push on. It's okay, I was just as confused with the toilet because there wasn't a handle to flush with. So the water's about like 70 degrees, so it's not terribly warm, but also not freezing. It's refreshing and also kind of dangerous because the train is really bumpy. You'll want to make sure that this bad boy is locked in place or you'll fall five feet in the middle of the night. So I'm up in my bed as you can see. It's really spacious. Yes. But right now I'm eating dinner. Nutritious. If you're gonna take this train ride, I highly suggest bringing food. The train itself does not have food. It doesn't even have a food cart, literally nothing. So you will starve. One useful gadget that I initially overlooked was this net on the wall next to my bed. It came in handy that night when I wanted to watch Netflix. ways that I've traveled in the past. I've ridden on buses, planes, I don't freaking know, cars. Yeah, oh, we're swinging. And we are here. Okay, I gotta get ready to go. Now that I'm in Chiang Mai, there's only one right thing to do. Visit an elephant sanctuary. It's kind of what this area is known for. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little bit nervous. But here we go. I was greeted by this little guy who was very excited for his daily banana. <laughs> oh, good boy. Come, come, come. This in front. Okay. And this in the back part. Yes. One and two. Okay. Rory. Nice. Hello. Yes, I'm going to rock the godforsaken socks with sandals, but just to get to the bathroom. I think I'm supposed to be going in here. So I got the pants, I got the shirt, it's very comfortable and flowy. It's also really cool out here, it's about like 65 degrees, which is the first I've ever encountered that in Thailand. It's because we're up in the mountains. Excuse me. 
I don't know where he went. Guys, it is absolutely beautiful out here. Feels like a movie, honestly. We're just like straight up in the middle of the mountains and the jungle. The building here is also super cool. It kind of has like treehouse vibes. And you're like walking over a bridge and you're like 20 feet up in the air. It's just a really cool layout. So I think we're gonna go down there and then walk across the bridge to the water. I see water, Buffalo. Here we go. These for the elephants? Yes, not for you. Not for, yes. <laughs> Huh? Hello. You, are, you not do it like this. They grab your hand and eat only banana and throw you off, put under the trunk. Let them grab and throw them out, okay? Okay. Feeding the elephants is not a fast process because they have to eat this entire basket. So you'll be doing it for a little while. It's very interesting. Here you go, baby. Oh. <laughs> so now we have some sugar cane. It's crazy because when they eat the sugar cane, you can hear it crunch in their mouth. Are you supposed to avoid eye contact? Do I just pull forward? Yes. It's kind of hard to move an animal that's like 10,000 pounds. <laughs> The instructor could tell that I had some hesitance, so he made me hug Shaba. <laughs> I know that there's gonna be a lot of questions about the center, so here is some quick information. All of the elephants are rescued either from circuses, riding, or logging businesses. They don't allow riding at the center, and they do not breed them either. It is completely for rehabilitation purposes only. So I think it's fair to say that they either feed the elephant's pumpkin or cucumber, because that's what this plant is, and it's growing out of poop. Do you feed the pumpkin or the watermelon? And you can see it growing. And sometimes <laughs> have the mushroom. We call magic mushroom. Uh, one piece is one hour, one two piece. pieces, two hours, ten pieces, forever. Forever. <laughs> <laughs> With the wood, it is uh, like a herb. You do like this. When you cut wood up or you got cut, oh. Somewhere, put here for stop the blood. It'll stop the bleeding? Yeah, yeah, stop bleeding. Oh. Like a local people, they use. Want to run with elephant? You run six seconds because they slowly to turn. And so you said don't climb up trees? Yes. Because they yes, can get yes. you. And they can knock down the tree? Yeah. We're going up the mountain now. Slippery. Oh wow, we're really getting up in here. This way. Cool. Beautiful. <laughs> a nice addition to my outfit. These are the plants that I've been trying to find forever since moving to Thailand. Touching. When you touch them, they curl up. You know, in the raining season, this one, they look like this. <laughs> they just slide down this. Yes. So now we're heading down to the river to the the elephants can go poop and pee and also get a drink. Now those signs make sense. Aww. So this one's a baby. Oh. This is one of the youngest elephants and he was feeling kind of lazy, so he used his trunk to breathe while laying underwater. I can kind of relate, honestly. Ignore her taking a dump in the background. Elephant bath time is quite interesting. Not scrub right it. Okay. Harder. Elephant massage. Elephant you massage. the elephant therapist massage, okay? <laughs> The fan? Yes. It is fun. I guess I wasn't doing a good enough job because he decided to poop on me. Oh, collect the poo! Up! <laughs> it's a very interesting experience. Elephants are a lot calmer and kind than I would have expected. Not that I expected them to be aggressive, but I didn't expect them to be this chill, just allowing you to sit in water with them and bathe them. It's pretty cool. Before we go, can you make the pants good for us? Oh, yes. <laughs> so apparently my pants are falling apart. Now in order to rinse the poo water off of you, you can take a quick shower. They have about 20 of them, so there wasn't a wait. 
So now it's time for lunch and we have some pretty good looking things. One of the best coconuts I've ever tasted. An egg with some rice underneath, stir fry, I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but it looks delicious. Pad Thai, one of my absolute favorites. And then some dragon fruit on the side, which is always lovely. I'm going for the Pad Thai first. The way you can tell if Pad Thai is good or not, is based on the color. I prefer the darker pad thai because you know it has a lot of sauce in it. If it's really light pad thai, then most likely it doesn't have a lot of flavor, but there can be exceptions. But this one is really dark. So I'm gonna guess that it's gonna be very flavorful. Yeah, very good. This one has tofu and egg in it, so it's vegetarian. Now, let's explore Chiang Mai. Is he just gonna continue? Oh, he's stopping. Grabbing a truck taxi is one of my favorite ways to get around. At first glance, downtown kind of looks like Siem Reap, with the river going through the middle. I get a lot of questions about if it's difficult to get around with all the signs being in Thai. But here are just a few examples of how much English you will see. It's honestly the minority of stores that have only signs in Thai. Most stores have English signs, so you can get around perfectly fine. Chiang Mai is a really beautiful town with a lot of history. Honestly, the quickest way to see everything would be by getting a Grab motorbike, which is the Thailand equivalent of an Uber. You can stop at some beautiful temples or pick the least sketchy looking alley and walk down it. If you do this, you'll find a lot of home businesses with a lot of home cooked food, different knickknacks made by the locals, motorbike rental place. You can find a lot of cool things just by walking down a random street. And if you're lucky, maybe you'll find a snack along the way. There are plenty of bananas, but none of them look ripe. So, here's what it is. Maybe I'll find some though. And this, my friends, is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I hope that you enjoyed the video. I certainly enjoyed filming it. Before I go, I just wanna say a big thank you to everyone who supports the channel on Patreon. Because of you guys, I'm able to continue making content and show you all of the beautiful places that the world has to offer. So thank you guys so very much. I greatly appreciate all of your support. And an extra special thank you goes to Robert G, Eric Fast, Michael Posh, Scott Sweaters, and Britt Saunders. Once again, thank you guys so very much. I greatly appreciate all of your support. If you would like to join, all that information is in the description along with other ways that you can support the channel. But I think that that is all that I have to say. Peace out, I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye Is that fun? Yes, it is fun. <laughs> Oh. oh no. I'm not going down there to get that. Oh, she's reaching for it. She's gonna get it. Good job. She used her little fingers. <laughs>